Hi everyone, in this video let's explore a new feature in 3D Coat's Primitives tool. As you may know, when you're using the Primitives tool within the Vossel Sculpting Room, you have standard Primitives that you normally see in an external 3D application, as well as your Freeform Primitives. So this is not necessarily anything new uh, to your average 3D Coat user. However, the new feature relatively new feature I should mention is that you can use any of your models from your models palette as a freeform primitive so you're not limited to just these here so let's take a look at this in the mannequins folder okay you can use any of these subdirectories or create your own but in the mannequins director here I'm going to choose the head and now as you can see I have my own primitive and I can set the number of control points to my liking. Okay. In this case, I'll change it back to 3. And let's say in the y axis, maybe because you have the brow, the nose, the lips and the chin, let's choose 4, okay? Now, what I can do is either scroll up to the E panel or hit the E key to bring the E panel to me and choose Freeform Lasso. And I can multi select with this lasso control points. So before I start, I need to determine do I want this to be reflected uh, in a symmetrical fashion? In this case, I do. So I'm going to apply that across the X axis. Okay, so maybe we've got a brain here. All right, so I can multi-select down the middle. Okay, so as you can see, this allows you to make some quick and dirty edits to any model that you have. You can bring models um, from your hard drive, OBJ files, straight into the models palette and make some very fast adjustments on the fly. And it's a great way to start off your character sculpts or any hard surface projects. All right, and I uh, hope this helps. Thank you for watching.